Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here and ultimately thank you so much for grazing your presence here on my channel. Today we're going to have fun. We're going to keep it cute. We're just going to talk about locks and all the joys that it brings us just to have it, just to be embracing our journey and everything that else that comes with it. But today specifically I want to talk about how to make your locks lock faster. So we're in that monthly stage. Some of us are just starting out. Some of us are in month two, month six maybe. But it's always good information just to know something new, right? If you didn't already know. So, but before we get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video if you like this type of content. And let's just get started. So... How do we lock our hair faster? That is a question that I wanted to know um, when I was starting out my first set of locks. Again, these are my second set of locks. Um, I had my first set of locks back in 2018. No. Yes. Yes. 2018. 2020. Having a new set of locks is different um sometimes you lose that knowledge when you um don't practice it as far as you don't go through the process and you don't you know remember all the different steps that it took to get to long and beautiful healthy locks in general so i wanted to just take a take a little spin and give you guys a few tips on how to make your hair lock faster now some of these you may be a little skeptical of because you're like I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm going to give you an alternative and tell you the flip side of it, okay? So the first thing that's going to make your hair lock faster is watering it, okay? Um, a lot of people may say moisturizing it. Um, I remember when I was when I had my first set of locks, this is probably the only thing I remember, <laughs> but I remember having my first set of locks and the only thing I did was water it. Um, even if you're having you know whatever journey you're on now excuse me of course it is good to moisturize your locks but if you're just applying oil to your locks and not having that watery mixture to um uh seep into those strands or seep into those pores into your pores then you're not taking the proper care for your hair. Um, every part of your body needs water, whether you're cleansing it or feeding it. And your hair is like your personal plant, as I'm sure you've heard many times before. But it's true, because especially when you're starting from um, baldness, like I have started from, or you're starting from short hair, even if you're starting from long hair, as we've all seen with everybody's different lock journey, your locks lock up at different times, they grow at a different rate, and they flourish no matter what, of course. But watering your hair helps it grow, helps it nourish the body of your hair, it helps soothe the scalp of your hair. Um, some people like to use aloe vera juice in place of water. I've tried that. Was I successful? After month after a couple of weeks no because all the aloe vera juice it's juice you know it has a diff it has a lot of minerals in it um basically um a little more heavier minerals than water so it kind of stuck to my pores instead of seeping so when something just lays on top of your hair or lays on top of your follicles um it can begin to irritate your scalp and that's what was happening for me. So that's why I had to stop using aloe vera juice. Um, at least the concentrated aloe vera juice. Now, I haven't tried the actual gel plant to my hair. Um, the actual plant. Just because for other reasons. I don't know why. I just haven't. Um, just because the aloe juice concentration was not a success for me so I decided let me just go back to the natural H2O and see what that does for my hair and it does wonders because it actually soothes the scalp fresh you know whether it's warm or cold or room temperature it soothes the scalp it makes it feel anew it wakes up those strands and um 
it promotes a healthier grow uh, growth now does water alone grow your hair yes and no okay because water if you don't your scalp your natural hair naturally creates oils which is called sebum and it within that so it's like if you're adding if you don't use any oils and you're just using the natural oils that come from your scalp just like you have natural oils on your fingertips and everything like that in your skin and you put water to it well it's just going to mix it's going to mix those natural ingredients right up and creates a masterpiece so like i said you don't necessarily have to use oil but water in itself is not a moisturizer. I don't care what no one says. It's not a moisturizer. All it does is dampen the hair, soothes the scalp, wet the hair, um, wakes up the curls. It, it does all the refreshing properties that it needs to do, but it does not necessarily moisturize your hair because it does not have any oil in it. It does not have any um, extra additives within your spray bottle or within the faucet water or whatever you use so if you are listening to people and they say water is a moisturizer you have oil in your you naturally have your sebum which is a moisturizer in itself but then you're compacting oil I mean water and it's just gonna seep right in it's not gonna do any more justice than if you Listen, it's not a moisturizer. I'm not going to sit here and break it down and define it for you. But it's just like laying water on top of your skin. What does it do after it dries? It just dries your hair. It dries your skin. Um, especially if you have um, sensitive skin and sensitive scalp. It's going to do nothing but dry your scalp out, dry dry your skin out, dry, dry hair. It's just a drying property. But it does soothe and refresh the hair for that moment in time that it um, presents. So that's the first thing. It helps lock your hair just because um, it helps your hair grow. Okay, and when your hair is growing in a lock-like state, especially when you're coming from coils, um, two-strand twists, braids, or whatever the case may be that you started your locks, when you're adding water to it, you're drying it out in a sense that it's locking together. And when your hair is matted together, it locks together. So that's why water is a good thing to have on the side. Um, maybe in your car, maybe um, somewhere in your room, of course, have a spray bottle. But have it in different places where you move about. So that way when your hair gets dry, you can refresh your hair with water and it'll help more. Let me not use the, use the word correctly. But it helps soothe the scalp for that time being rather than have going days with an itchy scalp, right? So why is the first thing that helps lock your hair? All because it helps mat your hair together, okay? The second thing that helps mat your hair together is washing your hair frequently. Now, as we've stated in the beginning, washing your hair is very tricky. It's not something that everyone likes to do, but I have a video on that. So if you like to go check it out, it's on when to wash your hair. But it is a good property to have when you're going through your lock journey. Washing your hair, especially the type of motion that you use when you wash your hair. Now, if you're washing your hair like this and you have starter locks, of course, they're going to come apart. It's not going to uh, lock your hair together. Rather, if you do a motion like this, like how if you're using a sponge or a towel, but except you're using your hand, you're clumping your curls together as you move your hand in a circular motion. Clumping your curls together help them stick together when they're being washed, which ultimately helps them dry that way, which then locks that way. So that is another way that helps your hair lock a bit faster than um, just the regular normal process. Um, so wash your hair frequently. One other thing, and this is the last tip that I have that I know of, is to lay down, go to bed without a scarf. 
This is the one where I was saying you might not agree with and there might be some opposing opinions because some people like to keep their hair neat. <coughs> Excuse me. Some people like to keep their parts neat and some people just like to have neat hair. So going to bed without a scarf of course makes your hair stick up as you can see. We're not even going to. I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> But it makes your hair stick up. But when you're moving around on your pillow, whether it's satin or cotton, we're not going to get into a debate about it. It does help clump those curls together. And when you're laying down at night, as bad as it sounds, your hair eventually dries out. Or dries out to a certain extent to where it mats together. Because all dreadlocks are matted hair that grew over a period of time. That's all dreadlocks are. So when you're helping the process of matting your hair together um, work faster, then your hair grows at a faster rate. Or your lock, no, excuse me, your hair locks at a faster rate. And that way you can wash your hair as frequently as you want to. You don't have to worry about it unraveling. Or you can see the formation of them to start to flow. So, um, again, I know wrapping your hair up at night is a choice, just like washing or watering your hair. But at least watering your hair is something you know you need. Washing your hair is definitely optional, but a, you, no one wants smelly hair. But having wearing a scarf at night is sincerely optional because um, you don't have to or you can wear it. So, um, I personally don't wear it just because... I either forget or it, it makes my head itch or it just it makes me hot at night. <laughs> That's a whole other problem in itself that I don't like to deal with. So again, not wrapping your hair up at night does help it mat together, but it, you do have um, other things that combat it, that which is like having your hair stick up in random places, having loose hairs, your hair frizzes up more. So it just depends on all how you want your locks to look, how you want your outcome to be, um, and how much moisture you're trying to trap into it. Of course, wearing a scarf traps more moisture into it than not having a, wearing a scarf at night. But it just all depends on what you want out of your look out of your locks um so i hope this video was helpful if it was go ahead and get it a, give it a like um if you really thought this video was helpful and you want to see more of me go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below in whichever corner that it is and i really thank you guys for joining me in this short quick video hopefully it was short enough for you and i'll see you in my next one all right guys peace